Hello guys, I'm Sorsi here again and welcome to another tips and tricks video. Or rather, welcome to a very special tips and tricks because today I'm going to be doing two tips and tricks. Now the first one was initially going to be the one for today, but then I decided to step it up a notch and include the new mechanics for the new Minecraft with a 12W34A snapshot or Minecraft 1.4. Yeah, 1.4. Can't say 1.214 because I darked on my recording the last time I did it. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a chicken farm and then how to use the nether mechanics on collecting the eggs so you will not ever have to miss out on any eggs. <laughs> so let's get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is make a chicken farm. Now the chicken farm is a very useful concept because if you think about it, uh, animals, like for example, if I kill this cow right here, he'll never spawn back this poor helpless little cow. Forever alone, that little derby face right there. And if I kill him off, he's never coming back. And um, that's a new mechanic after 1.8. And of course, in this little um, tips and tricks, uh, we're going to basically make an infinite chicken farm. So we can kill off all the chickens we want, but yet still have enough to make more chickens. So the first thing you want to do is make a 5x5 five five area. So the easiest way to do this is just find your center and just dig around like this. So you have a 3x3, three three, then you'll have a 5x5. Five five. Now 5x5 five five, I believe is the lowest you could do it and the highest you could do is a 9x9. Nine nine. Now if you see over here I have a 11x11 11 11, and you can clearly see what I'm about to do, it doesn't reach the center. So let's just do a 5x5, five five. Um, you could do a smaller but a 5x5, five five, uh, not smaller, I mean larger, but a 5x5 five five is going to be the lowest you could do it so it will work. Okay so you want to dig one hole here and place your sign like so. And you want to dig like two down so you can have a collection bin. So the easiest way to do is just dig out. Let's let's choose. Let's choose this way. This way looks promising. So let me just patch this up. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll just make it over here. So we'll make it eight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so actually we don't have to worry about the size right by now. Because that's going to be part of the second tips and tricks. And I guess I could just uh, destroy this so you guys can see what's happening down here. So yeah, so the next thing you want to do is place water on the corners so you'll have this little water effect and as you see here regardless of where I land on this little plat uh, platform it will take me down to the center. Now I do want to point out that since the chickens will fly around you may want to make this uh, actually too deep I kind of I messed up there but this is an easy fix all you have to do is just put a little barrier like this and it should work this exact same way because as you see over here we do have a little barrier upwards but we still have the um, water source going down to the first floor and of course just in case you want to put this into like a fancy area then yes you can put in other blocks but this is the basic design on the chicken farm and of course you may want to have a roof or something maybe a wall because we're going to be tossing chicken eggs in just about a second here and you'll understand exactly why the chicken eggs are important. Yeah, yeah, that's that should do. Okay, so as you see here, if we toss in any item, so we just toss up anything here, it will always go to the center. And as you see here, it will always fall down. Now the problem here is that the uh, items will always collect here, and you know, over time, after five minutes, it will be destroyed. And that's what the second tips and tricks is going to be based on. It's going to um, teleport the items to the nether so you can collect them and they'll never be um, destroyed so let's just uh, put a water bucket here and it should go eight blocks before it goes here and of course we're going to have another portal right here but let me just show you guys what I mean by this chicken farm okay so the first step you want to do is find some chickens now chickens you know I think I killed them off over here or I only found like one or two and you're basically just gonna to have to camp it or you have to lure it with a piece of wheat and the first goal here is to either get eggs or a, two chickens in here so once you have either or so if you have two chickens in here or you have eggs um, then you can start breeding so let's just spawn hopefully we can get yep we got two baby chickens now I think that was like five pieces of um, eggs and, and as you see here uh, regardless of where they're flying they're always going to aim to the center and they can never go down because they I don't know they're just too scared to go down and of course if I, I can actually go down and there we go and if I put items here it'll go down with the water and you know be collected way over here now over time, if you're using the egg method, they're going to turn into adult chickens and then after you do that, you want to make them breed. But I'm impatient, I'm just going to spawn some chickens here. Okay, so we have two here. Now the next thing you want to do is uh, constantly breed them. So of course, uh, I'm going to have these two chickens get it on and we're going to have a baby chicken. So similar to what we have here with the little eggs, but only adult chickens are the ones that give um, eggs. So the baby chickens are pretty much useless. So let's just spawn a lot of right here. We'll just have the little spawning thing right here. And then over time, you'll see that it does collect. All the chickens will be here. And I have a similar one over here next to my house. Um, 
and as you see here every time you um, do this little thing it will cause a small little frame rate drop uh, there's just no way going about that I'm sorry but uh, it's probably something with to do with the rendering of the entities uh, either the chickens or the items and as you see here we have a chicken bath and we have chicken eggs here now as you see here over time they will despawn which is kind of the whole point of the tips and tricks because we're going to be combining the nether mechanics plus the chicken farm yep frame rate drop once again okay so let's continue over here and yeah let's let's get the word okay here they are okay so over time they're going to make chicken eggs and as you see here it already at least one of them did uh made a little chicken not chicken thing an egg and it already fell down like i said if you toss in any item here they're all going to converge down to that little water point point. and since our bucket here is going to be moving it along um then it will go to the portal so you get the idea here okay so over time these chickens will uh make a oh crap nope 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 nope, nope. Go down. <laughs> I, I <laughs> so, um, yeah, so over time you want to breed them, but of course I'm using spawn eggs just to speed up the process. But yeah, so we have a huge amount of chickens here. And of course, when you're, uh, you know, when you have a lot, you can start killing them off with feathers and um, raw chicken and a small bit of XP. And when you kill them, it will go to the bottom and it will collect over here. But of course, uh, let's just start with the tips and tricks here. So let's make our nether portal like this. You always want to have the base here. Um, so the items will converge inside of it. So let's just go over here. And let's just make the portal like this. I think I missed one. Yes, I did. Ten blocks to make my portal. Screw the nether. So let's get started. Um, yeah, a lot of the chickens haven't really made eggs. But let's just assume. Let's just toss some eggs down here. And actually, I need to quickly like this before it happens. Okay, oh, I don't even see the water in this side. Wow, that's kind of trippy. And when the eggs pass next to the portal, they will um, actually teleport. Oh, wait, I think I... Yep, there we go. See, they're teleporting. So, give it uh, like a millisecond after they reach it, and they will touch the portal, and it will be teleported into the nether. Now, yeah, let's go into the nether. Let's just show you guys what I mean. So, here, wait, 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 before I get started, maybe clear my inventory of chickens. Or actually, just get rid of this egg, the stack of eggs. And the stack of eggs yeah there you go so you'll see exactly the eggs will spawn inside now when it goes to the nether there is no time limit so there is going to be a hundred percent guarantee that you'll get the eggs as you see there i got my eggs and of course i spawn inside this for some reason so i have the eggs i tossed in my inventory there so i have my eight eggs and like I just said, they will never despawn. So we're going to jump into a time lapse right now. And hopefully the eggs, or not the eggs, the chickens will spawn eggs. And they will go in here. And over time, um, it will, you know, just be collected in here. And we can just go in there. So I'm just going to let the film uh, recording run. And of course, you're going to see a night, day transition. And over time, you will see some eggs. And yeah, so be back in just a bit. Okay guys, so we're back here and I think that was a time lapse of 10 minutes or something. So of course if this was in the real world, the items would have despawned by 5 minutes. But since we're using the nether portal trick, it's going to stay in the nether portal or in the nether basically and never despawn until I go over there. And of course we apparently got a cow here in the process. So let's just aim, or let's just go to the nether here and we'll find the egg. Oh yeah, before I get started, let me um, show you that I have no eggs in my inventory. I just clear them off right now. Oh, and we got another one coming along the way. So, um, when we go to the nether, when we go to the nether here, uh, we're going to collect our eggs here. Now, just in case, uh, for example, there, you see the phantom eggs. Oh, 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 frame rate lag. And uh, we just got the one that crossed over. Now, sometimes it's uh, maybe a little buggy, and the only thing you have to do is just go back, to, back into the real world, and you'll collect the eggs that went back into the portal. Nope, there we go. See, 
as you see as you see here we had I think it was 16 plus 8 and then now we have a few more stacks of 16 so yeah over the course of how many minutes you can actually just constantly collect the eggs and then all you have to do is just rinse and repeat just throw the eggs over here and then you can continue with your chicken farm and of course this concept works with any item like if you had a sh automatic sugar cane farm uh, automatic wheat farm well, not really automatic wheat farm basically any item that um Oh, oh, perfect. A mob, a mob grinder, a mob trap, or something like that. That you never have to worry about mobs, um, you know, collecting the items when they die. You could just have it running and it would just aim, uh, have a water source going to the portal. And then you just collect it when you go to the nether. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this mod. Or, not mod. <laughs> What type of mod is this? Uh, tips and tricks. Now, um, I do want to point out that it is um, live. Like, for example, if I go into the portal right now and these three eggs are coming. Um, Actually, I'm going to collect one of them before I even reach it. Yeah, I collect one of them. So you'll see two of them up here. Oh, phantom eggs again. Two of them. Are, yep, there we go. These are the two that were just in the real world. And there we go. They're with me now. So everything in the real world, um, I guess, goes with another. I, I think that's how it works. So if an item is going into it in the real world, it will um, have live... Um, da 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 yeah, I, I lost my train of thought. That's what happens when you AFK for like 10, 15 minutes and you have no idea what you were talking about beforehand. Uh, basically, an, if an item is moving in the real world and aim for the nether, uh, you'll see it in the nether in real time. I guess that's as basic as I could explain it without getting too complicated. And of course, if some of you were wondering what this uh, update was, basically any item that touch any item or entity that touches the um, nether portal would be transported. Like if I move this chicken in here. He's going to the nether with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this uh, tips and tricks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you, if you did, it would be awesome if you guys left a like. Because this actually is a very unique method. I don't think anyone has done this so far with the new 1.4 or you know 12W34A snapshot uh, mechanics for the nether portal. And holy crap, this is going to be so much use. This is going to be so useful when it comes to like um, these mechanic things that you have with items. And yeah, so on and so forth. It would be highly appreciated if you guys like share this video with people so they'll know this method and yeah, use them in use it in their world. Get ready for 1.4, which I think is gonna be amazing. And of course, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos and more tips and tricks in the future. Either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And other than that, talk to you guys later. Goodbye.